let me see, let me see. Well, we have Sana everybody. Hello, hello, good evening, everybody. This is um okay. Welcome, it's nice to have you one more time. I wish you the best and I wish everybody is happy and ready at home. We have this beautiful day, which is um Thursday, and as you may know, this is our last class of this week. And this is our last class related to uh, section number four, uh, which is about something like music, like right? like rap. That's the title. We're gonna work with the word. Uh, yesterday we started this one a little bit with a conversation, and on today's class we will carry on working with word plus two plus a verb. So we're gonna work with those things. Um, today it is three intermediate number one and this is class class number 12. So welcome everybody it's nice to have you again. Hello hello we have Elena hello Elena good evening how are you? Hi teacher good evening I'm pretty good. Sounds good sounds good thank you so much Irma is here hello Irma good evening Hello, Mr. Palomo. How are you? I'm pretty good, thank you. Um, are you ready for today's class? Yes. Oh, that's wonderful, right? That's wonderful. Uh, thank you so much, everybody, for joining us. As you may know, you need to check the platform over there. You will find exercises for you to do it uh, about the content in section number four. Also, I was checking the WhatsApp group. And some of you were requesting some help over there, right? So uh, thank you so much for sharing some stuff. Sometimes little details help us. Pues a veces las mayúsculas, Roy, o las contraction, uh, a veces nos limitan a, pues, en el exercise. Ahí, ahí nos frustramos. O sometimes ahí, no, esta no sé cómo va, right? But... Uh, With some help from your classmates, um, you can you can get past past the thing there. <laughs> oh, Gabriela, Noemi, Oriana, hello. Okay, thank you so much. No problem. Nice to have you one more time. Yes. Okay. Um. Yes. Some people will work today. I was checking. Uh, the chat was up. So now you will be working like a lot. You know, we gotta buy some stuff, so we gotta work extra hours. That's life, right? It's hard, but we love it. Yeah, we're still here. Um, we live in this beautiful moment in our life, and we gotta we gotta enjoy it every second. Thank you so much for the ones that have joined us. Right, so we have. Thank you. Okay. Thelma, hello, Thelma. Hi, how are you? Good evening. Hello, sure. <laughs> because your camera was on and then it was off. So I was like, oh, nice to meet you, right? Because if I don't see your face, it's like, oh, I don't. Yes. I just, I just, I'm just hearing your voice. So that's why sometimes it's hard for me to remember your name. Because, uh, um, that's so it goes related your face goes related to your voice you know what i mean so um so whenever you participate well for me it's like oh i'm, I'm watching you the way you do it and also i'm hearing your voice at the same time which is pretty much very good okay um gabriela ramirez okay gabriela thank you so much welcome it's nice to have you and uh, david christian david thank you so much Thank you for joining us. Okay, and then uh, Thursday, Los Olympicos. Creo que hoy terminaron Los Olympicos, yes? I guess, right? Hoy terminaron. Yo and no, no. Yo nada he visto. <laughs> no, okay. Ah, <laughs> Los Olympicos, creo que hoy terminaban. No sé si hoy terminaban, but, 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 o mañana, o mañana, tomorrow. Quizás mañana, 
Probably yes, probably tomorrow, right? Yes. Uh, porque ya había ca calle cerrada and it was like, oh my gosh, that was terrible. Sí, the the traffic terrible. was a disaster. That was a disaster, absolutely. A big disaster. Exactly, right? We, like, if, like if we have time to do like a traffic road trip, right? We don't have the time to do that. Uh -huh, it's stressful. Yes. Yeah. Yes, that's why um, these drivers that work with public transportation are mad all the time because they are like, oh my gosh, it's like, it's too much traffic for them, I guess. Welcome, people. Eh, voy a tomar la attendance, la lista de asistencia, me dicen your name. Bueno, voy a decir your name and you say I'm here or present. Alba Cruz de Vázquez. No, okay. What about Alejandra Maria? Alejandra Maria Mejia. No, okay. What about? Es el profe. Es que no le contesto porque estoy de oyente. Le estoy ayudando a mi mamá aquí en la pupusería. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, that sounds delicious. Oh, Jesus, that's delicious. <laughs> Wonderful. Mire, ahí practique el, el inglés, right? Con el money. How much? Okay. Three dollars, four dollars, right? Change vocabulary about money. That's a good one. Thank you so much, Alejandra. You're stupid, okay? Angel, Librian. Hello, hello, Angel. No? Okay. Carlos. Carlos David. Present teacher. Thank you so much, Carlos. Welcome. It's nice to have you. Claudia Constante. I'm here, teacher. Wonderful, thank you. Concepción de Lourdes Núñez. Concepción de Lourdes, no, here. Yeah. Cristian Galicia. Dalila Cristina. Present teacher. Thank you. Elena Peralta. I'm here, teacher. Thank you so much. Solo déjenme revisar que Juan Gabriela told me that she will be here in class just listening. Gabriela Ramirez. Oh, y también Gabriela Orellana me dijo, okay. Okay, so Gabriela Ramirez and Gabriela Orellana. Okay. Thank you. Es que tengo dos Ramirez. <laughs> okay. Espérame, solo déjeme revisar. Because I have three Gabrielas, lo único que cambia es your last name. Gabriela Noemí, Gabriela... Okay, Gabriela, yes, Orellana ya le tomé asistencia, pero es Gabriela Ramírez. Okay, so Gabriela Lisset está aquí en clase, yes. Gabriela Lisset, yes, envíeme en el chat de Zoom si está, yes. Um, La, um, que tengo dos Ramírez, dos Gabriela Ramírez. Entonces no sé which one is. Okay. Las Gabis. Eh, I have Gabriela Alejandra Ramírez de Galdames. And I have Gabriela Lizette López Ramírez. So, um, I don't know. I don't know which one is. Porque en el chat, a Gabriela Ollana ya le puse asistencia, pero Gabriela Ramírez, eh, si no. Porque tengo dos Gabrielas con el mismo last name. Ahora, uh, si me pone su full name, sería excellent. Okay. Pero igual, acuérdense que aquí queda registrado cuando ustedes ingresan. El tiempo que ingresan, entonces siempre queda registrado. Okay. Uh, so don't worry. Iliana Elizabeth. Iliana. Present. Present. Thank you so much. Ingrid Ventura. Ingrid Ventura. No. Okay. Irma Galdames. I am here, Mr. Palomo. Wonderful. Wonderful. Um, my gosh, I made a mistake. Jefferson Perez. Jefferson Perez. Hello, Jefferson. No. 
Jenny Molina. Present teacher, good okay. evening. Good evening, Jenny, welcome. Jose Montes. Jose Montes. No, okay. Juan Carlos Lopez. I'm here, teacher. Perfect, Juan, welcome. Catherine Calzadilla. Present teacher, good evening. Nice to have you again. Leticia del Carmen Cruz. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Luis Mendoza. He's in here. Uh, Mariela Martinez. Present teacher. Thank you, Mariela. Good evening. Nice to have you. Miguel Melendez. Miguel Melendez. No, okay. Uh, now let's check Olga Valdez. Olga? No, Olga, creo que no, right? Okay. Telma, you here, right, Telma? Present teacher. Thank you so much, Veronica Alas. Present teacher. Thank you, Vilma. Cortés, Vilma Cortés. Present teacher. Thank you, Vilma. And Heidi. Oh my gosh, no. Vilma Heidi, right? Y Zaira Pamela Melara. Hello, Zaira. Are you here? No? Okay, let me check the chat on the really quick. Um, Olga. Teacher. Okay. Olga. Alba? I'm sorry. Eh, tengo mala conexión y quizás cuando pasó asistencia me, en eso me sacó. Okay. Pero estoy presente. Ok. Olga, también yo le tomé attendance. Alba, ahorita. Muchas gracias. Attendance, very good. Thank you so much, everybody. Again. Sí, yes. Luis Alejandro está en el trabajo. Puso en el chat de WhatsApp que iba a estar de oyente. Ah, ok, ok. Okay, let me check, let me check. Give me a minute. Yes, I'm sorry, okay? Luis. Okay, sí, pero todavía no. Luis me dijo, right? Creo que no se los ha unido porque no está en el en Zoom todavía. Tal vez más tarde se nos une. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you so much for letting me know. Okay, people, again, as I told you before, Congrats to all of you because everybody is doing a really nice job. Again, I know sometimes jobs takes a lot of energy for us. And I know sometimes it's difficult to like study and work at the same time. So again, I really appreciate all your effort on this one and everybody is doing a really nice job. Don't forget, si tiene algún inconveniente con la plataforma, eh, comunicarse pues, con la persona encargada. Yo he visto un mensaje de ella, eh, pues, um, como le digo, bien a disposición, ¿verdad? De apoyarles en lo más que se pueda con respecto a la plataforma. E igual, este, porque, um, ¿verdad? Okay, uh, acá se lo sabe. Jefferson, hello Jefferson, tell me. Eh, teacher, no sé si me mencionó a la hora de pasar lista, que no oh. sé si me escuché. Ahorita le tomo la asistencia, Jefferson. Thank you so much, Alex. Ay, disculpe Pérez, si right? no le contesté. No, 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 Thank you so much, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for avisarme, right? Okay. <laughs> Porque si no, yes. Keep going, I keep going, right? Yes. Uh, avise, así como lo hizo compañero, right? Mira, mister, aquí, right? Just check this really quick. Igual, a veces me equivoco en el spelling. Eh, eh, dígame, mire, mister, este, you can I, right? Careful. Yes, uh, because, I don't know, uh, I, my brain thinks something and then my hands try something else. So, uh, uh, sometimes we do that, right? And as you may know, pues a veces no somos buenos haciendo muchas cosas at the same time. So, uh, I'm not quite good at that, you know? But, I'm, I'm, I try to do my best. Okay, one more time. Vamos a trabajar con wood. Yesterday, les estaba comentando, right, en, en una conversación que estábamos viendo, acerca de wood with invitations. Yes, we can have many invitations, right? 
invitations to a party, invitations to, uh, I don't know, a meal or a celebration, right? Where we have food, I don't know, uh, a different kind of like things that we celebrate and we can invite people and we use wood to do so, okay? So let's take a look up some information about it. By the end of this lesson, participants will comprehend the use of wood in questions and answers. Remember I told you last class to pay attention to the conversation when they used I like to or I love to? Well, now it's our turn to study how to form a sentence for accepting and refusing an invitation. Let's check it out. Would. Verb plus to plus verb. Would you like to go out on Friday? Yes, I would. Yes, I'd love to. Thanks. Yes, I'd really like to go. Would you like to go to a soccer match? I'd like to, but I have to work late. I'd like to, but I need to save money. I'd like to, but I want to visit my parents. Contraction I'd equals I would. In order to accept an invitation, we need to follow the structure. Subject plus word plus verb plus to plus verb plus complement. Examples, I would like to go to her new house. I would love to go to her new house. And when we need to refuse an invitation, we need to follow this structure. Subject plus word plus verb plus to plus verb, comma, but plus. Examples, I would love to go to her new house but I can't. I would like to go to her new house, but I can't. Yeah, thank you so much for the information from the video. Okay, so here we have, right? This thing which is would. Again, invitations. Would you like to go out on Friday? Would you like to go to a concert? So, puede contestar the different ways, right? At the end, usted se queda con la que más le conviene, con la que usted cree que es appropriate, right? De dependiendo a veces del context. So, uh, if you notice here, we have a simple way, right? Yes, I would. Okay. Yes, I would. Or, yes, I'd love to. Thanks. That is a possible you know, like, way to answer. Would you like to go to a concert? I like to, but I had to work late. So um, here we are denying, right? Um, in in the second one, here we are denying or refusing the invitation or not accepting the invitation because I have to do something else, right? I like to, but I need to say my. <laughs> oh, that's that's the one that I use the most, right? The reality of all of us. Mire, mire, Cristian, dice, ¿te gustaría el concierto? Oh, pues me encantaría, pero tengo que ahorrar dinero, right? So I need to, <laughs> I need to, I need to go to San Salvador's, San Salvador's um, celebration, right? We have a big San Salvador celebration in August, yes, on vacation. Entonces, I need to save money so I can go there, so... <laughs> Oh, that's good. That's a good one. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Esta, mire, es de aquí. Esta de aquí, right? Yes. Yes. Just because um, we don't have one. Okay. And then la pronunciación, si usted confía en el audio, pues no la hace tan grande la pronunciación, right? Aquí decimos I would y aquí I'd. I'd. Right, entonces a veces la dice bien rápido. Se fijó en la última donde dice contraction. Aquí la dijo bien rápido. Y es, entonces solo menciona, como le digo, la, leng la lengua le topa el cielo de la boca. I'd, I'd, I'd. En vez de decir I would. Ok, entonces. Um, just be careful with that pronunciation. Ok. Ahora, si usted quiere decir la full form, I would love to. I'm sorry, I would like to. Yeah, you can do it. Yes. 
you can do it. Last, estas options que está aquí es para refusing, right? Refusing an invitation. ¿Por qué? Pues porque usted me ha dado pues, something that you need to do. Ok, usted dice, oh, pues me gustaría, right? O me encantaría, right? I would love, I would like to, but uh, I, I'm, I'm busy, right? Or um, I, I got a meeting, or I got to go to class, or I, I don't know, I'm taking a class with Mr. Palomo at seven, at eight, so, all right, I, I got to be there, you know, listen, hear it, annoying voice. Okay, so um, yes, yeah, so this is this is the way we do it. Okay, uh, invitation. Yes. Ahora, estas las hacemos bastantes. Okay, would porque cuando más que todo por la porque es bastante educado. Si usted dice, would you like a cup of coffee? Okay, would you like something to drink? Would you like some semita alta with your coffee? Or would you like would you like to go to San Salvador's celebration? Or would you like to go to, a, I don't know, to the movie theater, right? When se enamorando a su novia, right? O a su uh -huh. novio, right? Le dice, sí. Le dice, excuse me, boy or girl, would you like to go uh, to the movie theater with me on Saturday? They don't, don't watch the movie. <laughs> 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 yes, right. That's the way we do it. Invitation, right? Yes. Yes. Entonces, um, ahora, para decir would, esto como le digo es de forma educada, right? Yes. En, en diferentes contextos, a veces no se utiliza would para invitar a alguien, right? Es pues, bastante informal. Pero en la mayoría de casos, cuando somos educados, vamos a would you like to go to the concert? Would you like to go to a concert or would you like to go to, I don't know, would you like to go out and have dinner with me or would you like to, I don't know, would you like to have a, a drink or something like that? So we use would with that, okay? I would or I'd love, okay? Si ustedes se fijan, asociamos bastante este verb, este aquí, like and love. Porque hemos estado hablando en la section number four about likes and dislikes. Yes. Entonces, los verbos love and like are associated with something that you like. You know what I mean? Something that you prefer, right? Let's say something that you, oh, uh, I think, I think like uh, this drink is, is, is good. So you, you can say, I like it or I love it, right? Depending on, on your likes and dislikes. Right. Uh, let's let me show you more examples about this one. Uh, here we have this uh, respond the invitations. Right. Tenemos three invitations here. Uh, vamos a pedirle a Juan Carlos que lea la number one. Juan Carlos, please. Thank you. No, say, say number one, eh, Car I, Juan Carlos. Perdón, que tuve un inconveniente. Ya llegaron. I, I have tickets to a classic concert on sat Saturday. Would you like to go? Very good. Okay. Very good. So if you notice, very good, Juan Carlos. Okay. Ayúdeme a leer la number three, Irma, please. Thank you. I'm sorry, la number two. Number two. Okay. Yes. There's a soccer game tonight. Do you want to go with me? Very good. Thank you. And Jenny, Jenny, Molina, ayúdeme con la number three, please. Lea la number three. Read number three. Okay, teacher. Megan Trainer is performing tomorrow at the stadium. Would you like to see her? ¿Sabe quién es Megan Trainer? Yes. Oh, Santa la canción de Snoopy. Exactly, Snoopy, right? I feel, I feel better, better when I'm dancing, right? I guess that's the name. I feel better when I'm dancing. I think that's the name. Very good. Yes, that's right. Megan Trainer. Ok, entonces, fíjese cómo es, cómo es la, el context, right? El primero nos da un, un, una, un context, right? I have tickets to a classical concert on Saturday. Y luego, right? Le avienta el machetazo. Would you like to go? There's 
a soccer game tonight. Do you want to go with me? And then we have Megan Trainer is performing tomorrow at the stadium. It's not happening. Would you like to see her? Yes. So we have like a context prior, right? And, and then you have the invitation. Yes. Um, on this one. So we have different options to answer, right? That could be positive or that could be negative, depending on the way you feel or the time available or sometimes the money, like with the prior examples. Um, but we're going to try to answer this question. Okay, Christian, enterado, Christian, enterado, perfect. Okay, entonces, uh, vamos con la number one. Ayúdeme, let me see. Zaira, ¿puede participar, Zaira? Hello, hello. Zaira, Zaira por acá. No, okay. Uh, Alejandra, María, Mejía, ¿puede participar, Alejandra? Hello, hello, good evening. Are you there? Hello. Thank you. ¿Puede participar, Alejandra? Sí, ya. Perfect. ¿Cómo que contesta la number one? Mm. How do you think we answer, like, would you like to go, like, I have tickets to a class, a class on Saturday. Mm -hmm. Would you like to go? I would like to go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Would you like to go? Would you like to go? Okay. No se preocupe que Gabriela le va a ayudar. Gabriela Ramírez. Thank you, Gabriela Ramírez. That's very nice of you. Gabriela Ramirez. Hello, hello. Hello, Gabriela. Can I help, teacher? Oh, wonderful. Know? Please do it. Uh, it's possible to see, for example, yes. I would like to go. That is correct. So is you are like accepting the invitation, you can answer yes, I would like to go. Simple like that, right? So it's not something that you can like, um, yeah, very simple, okay, so, yes. I would like to go. The next one, number two, lo vamos a tratar de, de negar. Vaya, es como que. Um, there's a second guy in tonight. Do you want to go with me? Y usted dice, no, I'm sorry. Yes. ¿Cómo cree que contestar esta cuestión? Esta invitation. How do you refuse an invitation? Okay, volunteers, raise your hand, please. Thank you. Let me see, let me see. Okay, Irma, thank you so much, Irma. That's wonderful. Okay, the number one. Number two, please. Number, number two. Number two. Uh, there's a second. Um, yes, uh, I'd like to go, but I have to do the laundry. But I can't because I have to do the laundry. Is it okay? Yes, I like to go, but I can because I have to do the laundry. 
yeah, I guess. Um, yeah, I think everything is everything is good. Yes, just the period at the end. I forgot. I'm sorry. Yeah. Um. But yeah. So this here is about denying. Uh, at the beginning, you sounds like, oh, uh, I mean, I will study, right? Yes, I I like to go, but I can't cause. I had to go, I had to do the laundry. Yes, I had to do the laundry. Very good. Yeah. Thank you so much, Emma. That's Thank very uh, perfect. Thank you. Um, yes, so this is the way we do it, right? So tenemos un affirmative. Yes, I would like to. And then we have like a refusing the invitation, right? We are refusing this invitation. Ahora, si usted se fija, mira esta invitation. Yes, tenemos con do right do you want to go with me do you like to go with me aquí right si usted se fija no está el would yes no decimos would you like to go yes we don't have it uh, like um, in this um, case yeah. como sería how no it is correct it is correct Irma it is correct uh-huh yes it is correct. You can use would when you when you are like uh, asking, right? When you are asking. Uh, oh, this one because like se escucha bien rudo que le dice um no I, I don't right so that that sounds no, good. I don't <laughs> exactly exactly okay lo que le comentaba, right? yes es lo que le comentaba right and ser pues Pues, pues educado, right? Con, con, con la cosa. Yo sé que la cuestión aquí, pues no lleva el, el word. You like to go with me, right? Y, we don't have it. But, si usted le dice a alguien, eh, no, no, I don't. Si le dicen algo, suena como, como, uh, right? Entonces, a veces sé que lo, lo hacemos, right? En el normal speaking, a veces lo decimos, right? Um, do, do you want to play video games with me? Um, uh, no, sorry, we say that. <laughs> like yes, a rock. Exactly, but it sounds sometimes rough. Okay, yes. Or soft. Entonces, um, my suggestion, más que todo, con gente que no conozca, right? Con gente que no conozca, eh, pues, usted puede ser polite. Ahora, claro, si, si este está en un contexto bien informal, ya sea con sus hijos o con sus hijos, Right, or context of a standing formal, puede decir, uh, no, I don't thank you. Pero igual, acuérdese que igual como, como en español, right, cuando no nega, o sea, les ofrecemos algo y le dicen, ah, o sea, la, a, veces, a veces nos sentimos como, me desprecia, right, me desprecia el pobre café, como es, de listo, nobody wants it, right, nobody wants it. Entonces, uh, yes, entonces, uh, in English, yes, a veces, Van a escuchar eso que dice, uh, no, I don't. I'm sorry, no, I don't. Yes. Entonces, um, it's unpolite to say. Oh, oh, yes. Lo que hacen muchas veces, Irma, es lo que dicen, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I don't. <laughs> Entonces, <laughs> they, they apologize first and then, pues, let me try. Pero, pues, aquí, pues, la idea es que usted sea lo más educado posible y, y puede utilizar. Yes. I'd like to go, but I can because I have to do the laundry. Yes, that's, that sounds soft for the, the person who is asking, right? Uh, yes, entonces, um, por ejemplo, imagínese, right? <laughs> si lo está invitando, y el novio la está conquistando, right? Y le dice, <laughs> hey, uh, do you want to go with me? Y se le dice, no, I don't, okay. <laughs> Oh, sí, well. right. Como, tome, right? Sí. Vaya, regrese por donde viene, right? It's, like, it's, it's some rude, some rude. So, uh, just, just be careful. Then we have this one. Okay, Megan Trainer is performing tomorrow at the stadium. Would you like to see her? Um. Okay. ¿Cómo contestamos esta? O ¿Cómo aceptamos this invitation? Anybody? Anybody? You know, I'm selecting one of those who are there. I'm sorry. Okay, so I'm just waiting for your like saying, "Oh, Mister, 
Let me try. Let me try. Remember that this is about trying. So don't worry. Si se equivoca, no hay problema. Aquí todos le ayudamos. Right? We will help you. Don't worry if, if you get a mistake. Sería como, yes, I love to. Okay, very good. Yes, very good. Okay, yeah. I, my gosh, love to. Yes, very good. We can say this one. Yes, I love to. Very good. Yes. So, we can answer like that, right? With positive things. Yes, I love to. Right? So, you can go to the concert with um, and to see Megan train. Yes. Uh, at the end, it's not, it's not a big deal, right? I mean, it's just another singer live, but you know, is that an invitation? And you're a sexy, you can use which to do it. Okay. Yes, Luis. Sí, este, yo solo estoy de oyente que no he salido de mi trabajo todavía. Acabo no, no de va a salir en preso, Luis, ahí. Va a salir pero. <risa> pero de ojera, quizás. Pero... <risa> Esa picachada ahí, la verdad. <laughs> I think I, I'm in the Oh, yes. No problem, Luis. Thank you so much. Okay. Okay. My pleasure. My pleasure. Okay. Uh, oh, Olga, because es cuando damos la razón de algo. Okay. Entonces, por ejemplo, aquí en la number two, pues primero, pues digo, ah, me gustaría, pero luego digo, no puedo. I can't. No puedo. I can't. Digo. Entonces, aquí doy como una razón del por qué. ¿Sí? Entonces, esta razón usted la da aquí, dio una sola vez, porque si usted dice no puedo, la persona le va a hacer esta pregunta. Why? ¿Sí? ¿Yes? Entonces, para que usted no espere, right, esta pregunta de una sola vez, aquí digo, because I don't have, I have to do the laundry. ¿Sí? ¿Yes? Es como, por ejemplo, a veces le preguntan, do you like pupusas? Y a veces contesta, no, I don't. Entonces, si usted no me da la razón, yo le voy a preguntar, why? Why? Right? Entonces, yo le doy un consejo, right? Cuando usted pues, niegue algo, y es, siempre dé la razón del por qué, porque si no, la persona le va a decir, why? You know what I mean? Entonces, para matar de un solo, como dicen el, uh, right? La gallina. Usted de un solo da la razón, así como en este ejemplo, ¿right? Yes, right. Um, yes, so uh, that's my suggestion. That's my suggestion. Cuando usted niegue algo, trate de siempre dar el because. O oh, because this and this, right? Do you play soccer? No, I don't because I don't like it. Yes, right? Yes. Do you go to parties at, at night? No, because I'm old. Yes, right? So, so you need to give the reason cuando, más que todo cuando es, something is negative. Veronica, thank you. Eh, teacher, tengo una duda. Eh, ¿Se puede utilizar el but también? Excuse me? Eh, ¿Se puede utilizar but también en vez de because? Oh, ¿O no, solo se que puede el utilizar but, because? El but, esa palabra but, está aquí. Está adelante. You know what I mean? El bad es como que cuando va a dar una cosa contradictoria a la que ya dijo. You know what I mean? Yes. Por ejemplo. Pero. Exacto. Es por ejemplo que usted dice. Um, I like pupusas, but I don't eat a lot. You know what I mean? Yes. Right. Entonces, pues me gustan las pupusas, pero no las como mucho, right? Y yo puedo decir, because uh, it's not healthy. Yes? Right? Entonces, el but siempre se ocupa para darlo, pues, como una, um, like, como para decir algo um, opposite, opposite, right? A lo que está diciendo anteriormente. You know what I mean? Yes? Eso sí, como, yes. <laughs> como cuando la gente, le, la gente tiene muchos peros, ¿no? Escuchar esa expresión, right? Tiene muchos peros, right? Hey, mira, An yo, yeah, no, no, I mean, that's the way we go, that's the way we go sometimes. It's like, mira, fíjate que um, estaba escuchando la clase del teacher, pero, right? 
Espero. Excuse, it's coming. Excuse me, right? O sea, yes, right? O por ejemplo, right? Estuve viendo, no sé, lo, lo, la selecta, right? Estoy viendo la selecta, right? I was, I was watching a selecta, pero, you know, but, but, yes, entonces ahí va el but, right? Para decir, pues, contrastar algo que usted ya dijo yeah, prior, okay? Yes. O, for example, a veces, right? Uh, sometimes, sometimes. Decimos, ¿dónde es? ¿Vos conoces a, a fulanita right? o a fulanito? Oh, yes, he's very nice. Bien, bien tranquilo. But, 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 he's always late, right? He's always late. Okay, o sea, entonces, decimos algo positivo aquí, pero luego algo para contrarrestar eso. Yes. Entonces, aquí no podía ir en medio porque ya es la razón del algo. Yes, right. Okay, entonces, por eso tenemos bad aquí, porque aquí al principio acepto como que digo, como que digo, oh, yes, I would love to. Ok, I love to. Ok, or I like to go, but I can't. Because I have to do the laundry. Yes, entonces como que hacen la combinación de everything. Yes. Pero el because, sí, normalmente es cuando damos, pues, Sí le sugiero que cuando niegue algo usted, pues trate de utilizar siempre el because y da la razón de una sola vez para que la persona no le haga esta cuestión, porque se lo va a hacer. Téngalo seguro. Right? Si lo invitan a una wedding y usted dice, um, I'm sorry, I can't go. Yes. O sea, siempre uno, uno da su razón, no hace excusas. Right? Yes. Entonces, um, my recommendation, tenga ahí su bolsita, right? So, cuando le inviten to, son, to something, right? Saca su bolsita y dice la excusa, right? Y dice la excusa, right? Because uh, I need to take care of the children, right? Or because I have an English class. Because I, I need to do the laundry. Because I have to clean my house. Because, right? So, tiene su bolsita de excusas ahí and you said, right? So, uh, and or sometimes you can say, because I don't have money. Yes. Okay. Yes, yeah, sometimes we get invitation, but we don't have money, right? So we say, sorry, I'm, I'm, I don't have money. Okay. Thank you. No sé si quedó clara esa cuestión. Claudia. Thank you, Claudia. Solamente consultar, ¿verdad? Que ahí en lugar de la O sería A. And because. Thank you so much. Very good. Very good. Okay. Very good. Thank you so much. Okay. Estaba probando. Oh, no, no, no. Es que, como le digo, a veces, <laughs> a veces se me olvida esa cosa. Okay, thank you so much for spelling. Y yo okay. dije, será mal como yo le, okay. <laughs> lo escribo. Because, because. Okay, y aquí lo escribí como lo pronuncio. Because, así se escribe correcto. Okay, thank you so much. Very good. That's wonderful. Este es, yes, correct. But this one is incorrect. Okay, so así no se escribe, se escribe así. Se pronuncia because, se escribe with A. I'm sorry, yes, with A. A, yes, okay. Thank you so much for letting me know that. That was wonderful. Very good. ¿Quién fue lo que dijo esto? Gabriela, right? That was very good, Gabriela. Good job. Thank you so much. Okay, let's continue with practice. Aquí vamos a practicar, right? We have el simple present, yes, y tenemos would you like. Would you like or I'd like? Okay, Vilma. Empecemos with you, Vilma. Hey, D. Cortez. Thank you, Vilma. Yes, I'd like. Oh, sí. Okay, yes. Okay, voy a seleccionar this one. I like it a lot. Okay. ¿Cuál es que seleccionamos? Yes, I like or yes, I would like? Yes, I would like. Okay. Yes, I like. Solamente sería I like. Yes. Thumbs, thumbs better. Yes, I like it a lot. Yes, I do. Yes, continue, please. Thank you, Vilma.
Vilma. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Yo. Okay. Por no, Vilma. Oh, Vilma. 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 Vilma, I'm sorry, Vilma. <laughs> eh, con la siguiente. Yes. Ah, ok. Would you like to go to go with me? Okay. Yes, I love. Very good. Ahora léame lo completo, please. Thank you. Uh, there's an Ariana Grande concert on on Friday. Would you like to go with me? Yes, I love items. Thank you so much. Very good. Yes. So this is the way we use it, right? Any question about this or any comment about this? Tell me, tell me. <laughs> Olga, thank you so much, Olga. <laughs> Okay, alguna question or comment about this uh, conversation between Eva and Anita? Yes? Everything good? Okay, let's continue. Thank you, Olga. Ahorita no estoy entendiendo por qué me decía. Oh, because, okay. No, tendría que decirme, ¿viste? ¿Se equivocó ahí? Okay. La idea, Olga. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay, that was very good. Uh, okay, let's have another practice. Oh, this one. We have Marco. Okay, uh, let me see. Telma. Telma, are you going to tell me, please? Okay. Marco, there's a basketball game on TV tonight. Mm -hmm. Would you like to come over and watch it? Can you continue, please? Thank you. Continue, Telma. Thank you. Okay. Tony, I don't know this. How do you say it? I'd I I'd like to. I uh, like to, but but I have to study tonight. Oh, very good. Continue. Marco, well, well, do you like basketball? Tony, yes, yes, I do. I yeah. love it. Thank you. Continue, Marco. There's game on TV tomorrow at three o'clock. Will will do you like to watch tap with me? Okay, thank you, Tony. I love to dance. Very good. Yes. So okay. this is the way we have it. Okay. Just just we need to be careful with the context we're talking about. So we can select, would you like to come over and watch it? Okay. Oh. Would you like to watch that with me? Okay. Very good. Thank you so much for your participation on this one. That was pretty good. Okay, let's continue. I think I have another one. Let's see. Okay. Oh, this one. Oh, this one says, rewrite the sentence, find another way to say each sentence using the words given. So we have this sentence, right? Do you like rap? Aquí tenemos una expression. Think of, can stand, love, be a fan of, would like. Entonces tenemos una sentence, ya sea question or normal sentence, y vamos a utilizar este vocabulary here para decir um let's say uh, this sentence right like we are going to rewrite the sentence right and, and to say it in another way lo único que vamos a hacer es utilizar este for example aquí tenemos do you like right rap what do you think of rap then we have question sentence number two 
chat doesn't like country music. ¿Cómo creen que quedaría esta sentence? Utilizando can stay. Anybody? Like, sorry, but I can stand uh, country music, I think. That is good, but we need to use chat, the Catherine, in the sentence. Chat, oh. Chat, yes. So we talk about chat. Yes, exactly, exactly. Okay. The sentence is correct, the way you said, I think, because it's absolutely right. You, you didn't include chat, that's why. Okay. Um, chat can stand country music? Exactly. Mm -hmm. Easy, right? Yes. Stand country music. Yes. So? So what are we doing? We're saying the same thing, but in, in a different way, right? Using this one here. So chat doesn't like country music. It's the same chat and stand country music. It's the same thing, right? With, with a different, different, uh, let's say, words. Uh -huh. Jenny. I do them a Jenny with number three. I think so. Operas are great. I think so. Operas are great. Mm -hmm. This one is. What do you think about this one? Ah, qué pasó? Ah, no, pues ya está pasando la next week. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh huh. Yes. Yes. No. Yeah. Um. The Mariela. Thank you. What about number three, Mariela? Any idea with number three? Soap operas like Esmeralda, like Mariela Alvario, right? That's a good one. That's a good one. Gabriela Ramirez, what do you think about number three? Yes. Uh -huh. um, how, do we, how do we do that? How do we do that? Yeah. Right. If not, I will go with this gentleman. I, I love to soup opera. Opera. I love to soup, soup opera. Okay, very good. So I, very good. I love soap opera. Soap opera. Soap, soap, soap. Soap opera. Soap opera. Soap, soap opera. Yes. Como que se unen la P y la O, right? Soap opera. Soap opera. Uh, I love soap opera, right? Yeah. Look at this one. Yeah. It's straight to the point. Yes, I love soap operas, right? Easy, easy, very good. Let's continue with you. Yes, that is you. Ileana Elizabeth Hernandez. Number four, please. ¿Cómo quedaría el number four? Celia doesn't like new age music, like reggaeton, right? Like Bad Bunny is new age music. So um, with Celia, she doesn't like right mm -hmm. what is what is um using be a panel what's the sentence teacher yeah. somebody said teacher somebody said teacher who's that uh -huh. gentlemen tell me and you have a teacher who's that that's okay. you want no? well, yo, Carlos. Carlos, oh, Carlos. Carlos. Okay, Carlos, please, thank you. Uh, Celia is a fan of um, classic music. Celia, it's on me. Celia is, is a fan of classic music. Mm, no, because the sentence la tenemos negative. Uh, negative. Okay. Uh, Celia Isen. Oh, very good. Isen, a fan of uh, um, Bad Bunny. Oh, okay, New Age, right? New Age. New Age, New Age. Ah, okay. <laughs> sorry, sorry. 
No, that's correct. Very good. Fantastic. Nombre. Very good. Mire el verbo to be que ando yendo por aquí, right? Yes. Yes, right. Can you see this one? Celia is in a fan of new age music. Very good. That was very good. Yes, correct. Celia is in a fan of new age music, right? So, aquí tenemos B, right? Acuérdense que el B in context was that's verb to be. You know what I mean? Very good. Great job. Fantastic. And what about the last one, which is number five? Yes. Do you want to go to a soccer match? Mm -hmm. How do we how do we change this one? Oh my gosh. Got a pop up message. Seria uh, would you would you like to go to a soccer match? Okay, very okay. good. Uh, to, uh, soccer. Soccer match. Match. Very good. That is correct. And then we have a question, right? At the end, right? Because it's a question. Oh, that was very good. That was very good. Would you like to go to a soccer match? Yes, that's very good, right? Yes. So, and this is the way we work with this um, thing that is called simple present. And also a little bit of wood. Okay, el wood es bastante utilizado en inglés, right? Sometimes depends on the context, right? Aquí lo estamos viendo with, with invitations, right? Yes, like, would you like to go to a soccer match? Would you like a cup of coffee? Would you like a, a glass of water? Would you like to come to my party? Um, This is the way we are like. Um, seen it, and uh, we use it when we want to be polite when we invite somebody. Also, we were working in this section about likes and dislikes, right? The typical question with likes and dislikes it is about simple present, right? Do you like, I don't know, to play soccer? Do you like to cook? For your family, absolutely not. <laughs> Do you like to wash the dishes? Do you like to clean your room? Do you like to, uh, I don't know, spend time with your relatives? Do you like to go out and, and watch a movie or eat something uh, at a restaurant, right? So uh, you can have this with do, and also we have that, right? Does Christian, I don't know, I don't know, uh, like eating vegetables? Does Vilma love, um, I don't know, watching movies? Yes. Uh, so we can talk about likes and dislikes. Also, you can communicate about something that you like. Well, I don't like pop music. Y también estas palabras que tenemos aquí como I can't stand. Y también, cuando es negativo, también utilizamos la palabra hate, right? Hate, like hater, right? Yes. So, por ejemplo, a veces cuando a usted no le gusta la comida, right? Says, oh, I, I don't like this food. I, I hate it. Okay. Uh, for, for me, for sometimes I don't like spaghetti. So, I don't eat spaghetti a lot. So, whenever I get spaghetti, I hate oh, I don't like spaghetti. I hate it. Yes. So, I, I use hate to, to, to say that. I really don't like it, you know. So you can use this expression, right? Sometimes some people they don't drink people uh, they don't drink uh, sodas like Coca Cola or, or Pepsi, right? They don't do that, so they hate it, right? Because it's not it's not healthy for them, or maybe because like they don't like it. So in this section, that is the way we are working on about likes and dislikes, and a little bit of uh, word with invitations, polite invitation, okay? Do you have any question about this or any comment about this section? Igual, recordarles siempre en la plataforma, right? Uh, you have the material available for you to practice. Igual, algunos videos que por vez pongo acá, que los puede ver. La uh, que quiera, you can recheck. Also, las conversation, I stand, so you can 
uh, practice one more time. Also, last phrases, right? Que practicamos aquí in classes, like, do you like this? Or would you like? Uh, try to practice at home right, with your relatives, with your friends, or with your family, so you can get used. Right? Diga, hoy voy a practicar una frase with words, okay? Or una invitation with words, right? Or would you like to go to my party? Or would you like to have, I don't know, spaghetti for this, right? So uh, you can say those things, right? Try to use it, the language, um, so you can get confidence on this. Again, congrats to all of you. Si los felicito por, por el esfuerzo que hacen, right? Igual se les invita siempre a estar aprendiendo. Parece que este es un process. Es un process. Así que no se siente así como que, ay, no, me, no, es un proceso, right? Despacio, despacio. Sí, ponga eh, su parte, right? Aprendiendo little by little, como le digo, so you can um, accomplish your goal. Thank you so much, people. Enjoy your weekend. Be nice and be kind. Eh, and we'll see you next class. Next week on Monday. Bye bye. Take care. Thank you. Good night. My Thank pleasure. Bye bye. Bye bye. Take care.